Hi guys, Natalie Jill. Ready to be happy, healthy, and fit today. We are talking about lower back pain. I get a lot of questions about how to deal with lower back pain. Now I wanna preface this with I am not a doctor, so I don't want what I'm gonna to share to replace any of your medical advice as I don't know what your specific situation is. But I wanna share my story that I had some ongoing lower back pain, which was really getting in the way of my workouts. I could not do any of the intense stuff I wanted to do. I couldn't do any of my normal routines because of this chronic lower back pain I was experiencing a few years ago. Now mine was caused mostly from arthritis in my lower back and some disc issues. And I always thought that that was the reason my back was hurting. What I came to learn was it's not so much the actual injury or the arthritis causing the pain, it's all of those muscle imbalances and all of those underdeveloped small muscles around it that are not strong that are making you feel the pain. So if you've heard about having a strong core to help with lower back pain, that's what that's about. If you can develop that midsection, if you can strengthen all of those muscles in that area, all of those small and larger muscles in that area, and get your body working functionally, you're gonna feel less pain. So especially with women, we tend to have this anterior pelvic tilt. So what happens is we have this C-curve in our lower back here. So some women might say, I have a pooch in my stomach and they're clearly not overweight. What's happening is they've got this C-curve here. So their stomach is sticking out and their back is arched and they are hyperextending. So they've got their rear end sticking out and they're pulling on their hamstrings here, and they're always thinking I have a pooch or my hamstrings feel tight, and you go to constantly stretch your hamstrings, which is the worst thing you can do, because think of a rubber band being pulled tight. You don't wanna stretch it further. It's gonna make it snap. So that's the wrong thing to do. So women tend to have this curve, and a lot of it happens from wearing high heels over time. So what I learned is if you can make it so you're not overusing your quads and we can start to develop our hamstrings more and we can work to activate our glutes we're going to get rid of that anterior pelvic tilt we're going to start to flatten out our back squeeze your glutes and you can even feel that and we're going to take that lower back pressure away so if you just stand there if you even do this with me you stand there put your shoulders back squeeze your glutes if you have lower back pain you'll feel a relief from that it might not look so attractive doing this but you'll feel that relief here so when you do that and practice that, that's gonna help with lower back pain. Now what you also can do is before any workout, and I personally do this religiously before every single workout, and if I don't, I will start feeling that lower back pain again. There's three warm-up moves that I do before any workout that helps to avoid lower back pain, and it helps you to not be quad dominant and to use the right muscles. So I'm gonna show you what those are. The first one is foam rolling. And what you wanna do is you want to use the foam roller to roll out those quads. That's the only thing I recommend rolling prior to your workout when dealing with lower back pain. You're gonna roll out those quads and you wanna think of it as, as what stretching would do. It's going to almost turn off that muscle. It's gonna make it so we're not using that muscle predominantly when we're working out. So we're gonna roll out those quads and you're gonna really spend some time focusing on those spots, getting out any knots, rolling that whole quad. The second thing you're gonna do, this is what I do, is I do a hip flexor stretch, but I do it as a dynamic stretch, so I'm moving as I'm doing it. It's, it's not a static stretch, I'm not holding still, I'm gonna be moving while I'm doing this. And I put that back leg up to really stretch that hip flexor. So I'm turning off that quad, I'm stretching out that hip flexor, and I'm getting ready for my workout. Then the final thing I do is I'm going to activate my glutes because I want those glutes to fire. I want to use my glutes and my hamstrings, not my quads, during the workout because I want to get rid of that pull and I want to get rid of that lower back pain. So I now do glute bridges and you can do them double leg or you can do them single leg, but you want to really concentrate on activating that glute. So if you try these things, especially if you have lower back pain, you'll notice a relief just from doing these things. So it's very therapeutic too. All of my programs, especially my, the 12 week super shred, the shredded ab program, and my new Rev4 DVD, all of that addresses lower back pain. So all the exercises in those programs are gonna help you combat lower back pain.
Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure you subscribe below, subscribe to my channel, check out my other workouts and other tips, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.